Next curve. Hey guys, this is Leonard Lee, Executive Analyst at Next Curve, and I'm here at the Qualcomm headquarters in San Diego. Uh, and as many of you know, I'm you know a resident of San Diego, so I uh, frequent the headquarters quite a bit. And uh, you know, today I'm here to check out a Fila, which is the digital car that was announced at CES 2023 earlier this year. So if you saw my coverage of CES 2023, you know that I was there at the unveiling. And so at that event and. Uh, Cristiano Amon showed up, who is the CEO of Qualcomm, of course, and he was part of the unveiling. And this uh, beautiful car back here is uh, what they announced. Uh, initially, I thought it was going to be an e-bike, but it wasn't. So this was a pleasant surprise, and the folks at Qualcomm were kind enough to invite me for this private tour of this vehicle. And so I hope you enjoy this tour, and let's get into it. Well, I'm here with Ogura-san. Where is it? Takayuki-san. Right, Ataka Yuki san. You got to get that correct, because you know, you know. Otherwise, you're saying Mr. First Name. Anyways, um, you're he's with uh, Sony, right? Ah, yes. Sony Honda. Okay. Great. I got to make sure I get this right because it's Sony Honda Mobility, and um, he's going to give me a tour of the car that will launch the Afila brand. Takayuki-san emphasized that Afila is not the model of vehicle, but rather the new brand under the Sony Honda Motors partnership. The Afila prototype model is a mid-sized sports sedan that could seat five adults rather comfortably. It sports front and rear LCD bumper displays and will be a full electric vehicle. Inside. The first thing you notice is the expansive digital display that spans the dashboard similar to Qualcomm Snapdragon digital chassis concept car with a fully digital customizable instrument cluster and integrated infotainment system. It truly feels like a smartphone on wheels. Okay, and you can change the uh, wallpaper as you like. Oh, nice. And here's nice. standard mode. And then you choose Spider-Man. And applying this, illumination color will change as well. Oh, that's fun. Thank you. K kids are going to love this. Yeah. Right? And uh, have you ever had 360 reality audio from Sony? No. No? Uh, have you ever had Dolby Atmos? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, this is a special audio coming from Sony. Oh, yeah, okay. Almost the same. But uh, Dolby Atmos said uh, include virtual 10 channel. Mm -hmm. While our 360 reality, 360 reality audio uh, include 13 virtual channels, so uh, mm -hmm. we have more channels to create a special mm -hmm. sound. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a seat speaker as well behind you. Mm -hmm. This is Sony 360 reality audio. That's pretty cool. I like it. Sold. You can connect your PlayStation from this vehicle because the vehicle is connected to the network. Okay. And, uh, yeah, while parking, uh, you can enjoy the game. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> to connect the controller no to way. that. Yeah. Okay. Did you see that? You know, your car is your mobile PlayStation. Really, really cool. This isn't a concept car. It's a prototype of a vehicle that Sony Honda Mobility intends to produce that is a bold vision of what a software-defined vehicle will be. Sony, uh, we have a total 45 sensors and cameras are wow. in the car and uh, which need more process processing power. That's why we need Snapdragon. So Takayuki-san, yeah. thank you so much for the demo. That was thank really cool. Yeah, really, really cool. Much. And uh, great collaboration between uh, Sony, Honda Motors, and Qualcomm. Of course, Qualcomm providing the whole digital chassis portfolio of tech uh, to enable what's a really a amazing looking um, a vehicular concept which will be coming to your showrooms in 2025 right right and so uh yeah hope you enjoyed the tour and uh we'll catch you next time okay bye thank you very much